Recently, it was highlighted in the media that energy companies have been getting warrants signed off in closed private hearings in order to allow them forced entry into people's homes to fit prepayment meters. Much like the council tax hearings, the so-called justice of the peace or magistrate probably being paid privately will receive a spreadsheet of alleged debtors and will sit down and rubber stamp them all without seeking any proof of claim. I say probably being paid privately because I see this as being much like doctors when you need a private letter from them. A doctor will take payment of, well for me it's £20, and will do them in their own time as an added perk of the job. You know, a bit of beer money. And as the person signing these warrants off clearly doesn't seek evidence, then I can only imagine they're doing it outside of their full remit of a justice of the peace or magistrates, therefore not following the rule of law and seeking evidence of the creditor's claims. An investigation by the Times has revealed how vulnerable people, including disabled and mentally ill people, were being forced by British gas onto pay to go meters or have their gas switched off. A practice that Business Secretary Grant Shapps has said is energy companies pulling the wool over the eyes of Ofgem. Some courts are currently processing over 13,000 cases per month by energy firms in order to issue warrants to force people onto these prepayment meters. In some cases, these secret hearings are being held hundreds of miles from customers' homes, leaving them no way to contest it. And it's also been said that many of these warrant requests are being done over the phone. Again, meaning that a justice of the peace or magistrate cannot see any evidence to then comfortably authorise a warrant of entry. During the Times investigation, an undercover reporter claimed they appeared at Wigan and Lee Magistrates Court where 496 warrants were protest processed in just 3 minutes and 51 seconds and across England and Wales on 73 only 73 warrants have been denied by courts out of half a million since J July 2021 in a statement Grant Shap said I'm appalled that vulnerable customers struggling with their energy bills have had their homes invaded and prepayment meters installed when there is a clear duty on suppliers to provide them with support they need to refocus their efforts on the consumers the british public who are at the receiving end of this abhorrent behavior I'm also concerned the regulator is too easily having the wall pulled over their eyes by taking at face value what energy companies are telling them. They need to also listen to customers to make sure this treatment of vulnerable consumers doesn't happen again. Now I have a video coming up which shows how these police assist in these generally what I would call unlawful executions of warrants with some information that might help you if this was to happen to you. Senior Associate Solicitor at law firm Lee Day, who specialised in discrimination and public law, Ryan Bradshaw, said in a statement, The automatic granting of warrants to supply is incredibly troubling. To have someone into your private property uninvited is a serious violation of the right to privacy under Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights. In various cases related to those suspected of criminal activity, it has been established that those who are subject to a warrant of entry ought to be given the opportunity to assess whether it's justified. It is very difficult to see why this same standard is not applied to those who are not suspected of any wrongdoing greater than having allegedly fallen behind on their energy bill. This is of particular importance when it has become increasingly clear that the information held on customers by the energy companies may not be accurate and that those with an increased need for support are being failed by them in the midst of a cost of living crisis. Beyond the issues with the energy companies and their use of these warrants, it is deeply concerning that the Magistrates Court is not allowing people to the opportunity to challenge them and are simply taking the energy supplies at their word. Straightforwardly, this seems to be a breach of the Article 6 right to a fair trial enshrined in the European Convention of Human Rights. Now, I will be putting a video, video together soon showing an energy company being assisted by police to force entry to a home. And I'll explain the legislation around that and, the, and some of the legislation that is supposed to protect you. Ofgem said that it shared Grant Shap's shock in finding out about this practice and told the Times that they have been ordered, or they have ordered British Gas to cease all warrant activities until the company can demonstrate its compliance with its standards and requirements. Our compliance reviews were launched to assess and drive up standards across the industry. Companies are legally required to submit an honest representation of the facts and we required assessments to be signed off by their boards. It is an extremely serious matter for any licensee to provide misleading or purposefully inaccurate information as part of these reviews. What is clear, as the Secretary of State has laid out, is that the picture presented by companies may not accurately reflect what is experienced by customers on the ground. 
Therefore, further reviews will cross-examine what we have had reported to us with direct reports from customers and wider stakeholders and potentially those involved in delivery of service. Chief Executive of the Magistrates Association, Tom Franklin, has said there may be a case for reviewing the law that pertains to this process, but that is for Parliament, not magistrates, to debate and decide. Magistrates' role is to apply the law as it stands. This includes issuing warrants once debts have been established under oath, which we will again discuss with more detail in my later video. Justice Minister Mike Freer has said it is extremely rare for customers con to contest the warrants. Well, it would be if the hearings are being held behind closed doors and miles away from the customer's home. Also, let's not forget the foregoing of any real legal procedure. It's said that companies can move customers who are behind on their energy bills onto a more expensive prepayment meters. This is laid out in both the Gas Prepayment Meter Regulations 2006 and the Electricity Prepayment Meter Regulations 2006 where it says a prepayment meter may be used to recover a sum that is owed to a gas supplier by a customer and a prepayment meter may be used to recover a sum that is owed to a gas supplier or an electricity supplier by a customer, respectively. But there are, previous, uh, provi there are provisions in place to protect people from this unlawful abuse of process, which again I will discuss in more detail in my later video. Now, with the rising cost of energy, both electricity and gas, you would think that everyone is suffering. I mean, gas companies are having to pay more for their gas that they supply. Therefore, we as the end user must pick up that extra cost in our bills. I wonder then why companies such as Shell have had their most profitable year in their company's 115 year history with profits of more than £32 billion. It certainly makes you wonder why they're not also suffering at the crippling cost of energy that they have had to buy from elsewhere to help us keep our homes warm. Seems to me they might be charging us the same price for our own locally generated fuel as they are for fuel shipped in, which in my opinion should be unlawful. Now I might be wrong, but I can't see how they would have such record profits when the price has gone through the roof and we're all having to pay the extra as the end user, but they also have locally generated fuel, which I would imagine we're being charged for at the same rate as the stuff that they're having to ship in. But let's not just blame the energy companies here as the keepers of the law. The police are also complicit in assisting the energy companies in their forced entry antics when they should be investigating to find out if the warrant was issued correctly. Yes, police, the courts can be wrong and it's your duty to investigate. Now, this really isn't the kind of video I would normally do for a PAP report, but I thought it was important to make as I have a video coming out showing the illegalities of the system and the police's behaviour with a breakdown of some of the legislation which you can use in order to protect yourself from being forced onto a prepayment meter. So please stay tuned for that video. I'm going to try and get it out today. If not, it will be out this week.